What is going on guys? Welcome to the Flexible Combat System 2024 update. It is good to be back. Now, what used to be a tutorial to change has been implemented directly into the system, allowing you to design games not just for third person, but first person and top down with a flick of a setting. I wanted to improve the flexibility of swapping between weapons, spells and items in the system. So I introduced not one, but three action bars you can choose from, complete with a full range of settings letting you customise things to fit your own game projects. To fill up any of the three action bars, we can jump into our newly created player menu and into the skill section. Here we can populate the bars with main and offhand weapons, spells and on use items. The 4 slot action bar takes a Dark Souls approach, with 4 slots which can be swapped between using the mouse wheel and modifiers. Lock slots and free slots take a more Minecraft approach, where items can be placed along the bar as you like. The only difference being that the lock slots are locked to the items which match their lock. If you're worried about gamepad controls when using one of the longer action bars, don't worry, I've got you covered. When gamepad controls are set, the project will switch over to a radial selection wheel, meaning gamepad users are fully in control and can switch items with ease. This option is also available for the keyboard in the settings. I think we can all agree when you're playing a character in a game, you want to look cool. And in my opinion, more weapons equals more cool. So when equipping an item onto the action bar, that weapon will then be placed onto the character. Of course, too many weapons would spoil the fun with all the overlapping meshes. So in the equipment component, we have dedicated weapon slots, which each weapon can go onto. The slot for each weapon is set up in the item data. If the slot is free, the weapon will be loaded onto the back. Any weapon or item in the game can be thrown except for armor. Now, blades is when things get interesting. Each weapon with a blade will have a blade hitbox, where if the enemy is struck with it, it will deal bonus damage as a multiplier. You have the choice of throwing items straight at the enemy, following a curved path to the target, or have the item spin in the air. All this is set up using physics, meaning the item can bounce freely. It can also be picked up after it's thrown. The inventory, which used to be a private menu, has now been converted over to a player menu, where we can access the world map, active quests, inventory, action bar skills, and crafting. Don't worry, for those of you out there who prefer a more simple menu approach, you can still access the world map, quests, and spellbook in-game using individual hotkeys. A combat system wouldn't be complete without spears, as spears are badass. So, spears have now been added into the system, coming with four light attacks, two heavy attacks, a full movement locomation set, and a spear mesh. I always wanted some melee magic ranged combination attacks in the system, and in this update, I'm proud to bring you three of them. The melee charge attack can be charged up to three times, increasing damage with each charge. When it's fired, it will release a fiery path, dealing damage to all of those along it, and a dash forward. The ranged withdraw attacks has two types. The fire withdraw, which spawns a magic fire arrow at the enemy while jumping back. And a normal withdraw, which fires the currently equipped arrow at the enemy. All of these spells are blueprinted in a way which means you can make additional spells off them. So although there's only three abilities, I leave the door open for you to make many more using these blueprints. The character creator allows you to create a character selecting your sex, stats, starting build, appearance and name. The entire character creator has been made in a way which works with any character you like. 
The only thing that needs changing is the meshes used for appearance, and if your skeleton uses different bone names, these will need to be swapped over. For those of you going for a game which favours pre-made characters over custom characters, I have that covered for you as well. I've set up three pre-made characters so far, but you can change these to be any character you like. No coding required, just tweaking the data that goes into each character, such as the stats, build and the rest. All these features and more is included in the update, so I hope you all enjoy it and can make some kick-ass games with it. For any of you watching who don't own the system, you can find it on the Epic Games Marketplace and Fab Marketplace. I'll leave the links in the description. And with that, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more exciting updates the Flexible Combat System has in place. Now.